What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install your NVIDIA display drivers. This is a super simple process with the new NVIDIA app and we'll just jump right into it. So what you wanna do is head over to nvidia.com. Once we're on the NVIDIA website, you're gonna click on drivers in the top right corner. Once you've done so, uh, you can choose your exact model, but that isn't actually necessary. All you need to do is choose which one of these you'd like to get automatic updates for. Uh, most I would choose gamers or creators unless you uh, knowingly have like a workstation or server situation going on. Um, and all we need to do is download the NVIDIA app. It's super simple. Um, we click on the installer once it's actually finished here and it's gonna go through its uh, little process to detect what uh, graphics card you actually have. This makes it really, really easy so you don't have to find your model number or anything like that. Now, you're gonna go ahead and choose agree and continue and it's gonna prepare the installation. It's probably gonna detect that I have um, older drivers installed. That's totally okay. It's gonna find that and uh, continue the app. And there it is, it is now installed. So how do we update our drivers? What you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to the drivers tab on the left-hand menu. And from this uh, menu here, you're gonna choose which driver you want. Now, from this drop-down, you'll see game-ready drivers. This is what most of you are gonna to wanna to choose because it's gonna have all the latest updates for your favorite games. Uh, the studio driver is best for creative apps like Blender and uh, Photoshop, things like that. It's a little bit more uh, stable and it's not trying to use all the latest technologies at once and all that. Um, but I normally recommend the game ready driver for even studio users, honestly. And it's just going to go ahead and download the latest driver for you just like that. Super simple. Um, once it's done, it's going to go through an installation process, which I'll show you and then uh, you'll be good to go. All right, so the download has finished and you'll see that there is a new game ready driver ready and it's downloaded. So we'll just hit install and now we can choose express or custom installation. Let's go ahead and choose custom just to look at what it gives us the options uh, to change. And we can see here that we can choose to uh, do a clean installation. I only recommend doing this if you're having issues with your old driver. Um, it'll completely remove the uh, old driver and apps and all that stuff and start you fresh with new settings and everything. If you wanna keep your settings, definitely don't click that. So by default, the graphics driver is installed and the Physic system software and HD audio driver are installed. If you don't need these, you can uncheck them. Chances are you're gonna want at least the Physic system software because a lot of games use that. The HD audio driver is just something that I would install because that's how uh, the graphics card sends audio to your TV through uh, HDMI and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and continue. Now your screen might flash during this process. It might turn black. Um, just go ahead and wait it out. It's totally okay. Um, it'll come back after it's finished installing because the graphics driver shows what's on your screen. So if it's updating it and it has to turn it off and then turn it back on, you're obviously not going to see anything during that process. So don't worry. It's not like broken or anything. Just give it some time. All right. So it's done. Uh, once the installation is finished, it'll show you um, what has been installed and what hasn't. Uh, you'll see that PhysX hasn't been installed because it already has the same or a newer version installed. So it skipped that and it did install the new version of the HD audio driver and the graphics driver. But yeah, that's all you need to do. And then it's gonna be ready for all of your uh, favorite games and all that stuff. On the top right, if there's a new driver, it will tell you um, that there's a new driver. Instead of saying up to date, it's gonna say new version available and it's gonna say download here instead of reinstall. If it says reinstall, you're good to go. Uh, but that's it for this one. Hope you have a good one and uh, thank you so much for watching. Peace. The games to end up used with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, uh. Mike the Tech, the architect, uh. Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect.